Kevin Holland versus Marvin Vittori. Number two needs to be next since Kevin Holland called out Marvin Vittori. Now, who would win this fight? Well, before we talk about who would win this fight, let's take a look at their latest performances in which Kevin Holland fought Michael Ben and Page. In which Michael Ben and Page striking was great, took control of almost the whole entire fight, all landed Kevin Holland and ended up taking it by decision. By you unanimous decision! Michael! At this, Kevin Holland just recently fought Miha Olusechuk, in which Kevin Holland got him in an arm bar and broke his arm in round one. Now let's take a look at Marvin Vittori's latest performances, in which he fought Roman Dolis, in which it was a very close fight. Both went back and forth, both had some great shots, but Marvin Vittori ended up taking it by decision. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Marvin! At this, he went to fight Jared Cannonier, in which he brought Jared Cannonier in round one. Oh, he hurt him bad! Tory with a left! But then Jared brought it back and robbed Marvin Vittori in round two. His way out of there. The cannoneer stalking. Oh. Oh, this is what man. I mean, he's so durable. And which Jared completely outlanded and destroyed Marvin Vittori, and which Jared ended up taking it by decision. Your winner by unanimous decision, the Killer Gorilla! Now here's the thing about this fight, Marvin Vittori doesn't really have any power, when fans watch this fight they're not expecting a knockout from Marvin Vittori, but he does have the wrestling and he does have the grappling, he's really good when he pushes his opponents up against the cage and he wears them down, but besides that he's not really known for anything, he's just overall a decent fighter, and Kevin Holland we all know he's very known for his entertaining performances and his dominant performances. So anyways I see Kevin Holland outperforming Marvin Vittori when it comes to fighting on feet, I think if Kevin Holland can be sneaky and reactive at the same time, he could catch Marvin Vittori coming in with some lazy shots or over committing and i do see kevin holland outperforming and outlanding marvin vittori throughout the whole entire round so that's how i see him winning and as for marvin vittori i think he could do his best work when he's in the clinch but it won't be easy because it is kevin holland who always puts up a fight but that's the best chance he's going to get at beating kevin holland and outperforming kevin holland but realistically i see marvin vittori winning this fight i mean this man is in the top 10 in the middleweight division and it must be for a reason and it is because this man can be put to sleep or he can be finished